Hey guys, Adam from Think Pro Basketball. In today's video, we are going to go through three stretches that you can use to instantly jump higher. Let's take a look at them. The three stretches that we're going to go over are going to focus on three areas of your body. The first is your ankles, and that's exactly what this stretch is going to do. We're going to work on stretching out your Achilles tendon. This is the back part of your lower calf, all right? So Aaron is going to demonstrate here. All you have to do is find a nice wall to go up against, and you're going to simply put your toes up against the wall, okay? Now by doing this, you should feel a stretch in the lower part of your calf, right down here, your Achilles tendon, all right? You're gonna to wanna to hold this stretch for over 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, until you start to feel a nice release in that Achilles tendon. Now you'll notice Aaron is keeping his leg nice and straight here, all right? The next variation that we're going to do after you've done both sides, keeping your legs straight, the next variation that we're going to do is we're, we're going to bend our knee and push our knee towards the wall, okay? This is going to target a different area of your Achilles tendon and of your calf, okay? Once again, this is going to increase range of motion and mobility throughout your ankles so that you can increase your vertical jump by exploding and transferring energy and forces through your body, down through your ankles, into your feet, and out through the ground. So work on both straight-legged Achilles tendon stretch and a bent-legged Achilles tendon stretch. Let's take a look at it. The next stretch that you're going to complete is a static hip flexor stretch. Now the hip flexor is the front areas of your body, the front of your hips, all right? And these are important to keep nice and loose because during the vertical jump, it's a triple extension, meaning if I'm just gonna turn Aaron sideways here and coil him like he's going to jump, you need to be able to have these hip flexors, what we like to call put to sleep, so that they are not activated and resisting your triple extension of your vertical jump. When Aaron goes to extend his hips during the triple extension of the vertical jump, he needs to be able to swing those hips forward, all right? If these hip flexors are tight, they are resisting this triple extension movement. So to put them to sleep and to keep them nice and loose, we're going to do a static hip flexor stretch. Aaron is going to simply get down on one knee on the ground. You can use a towel or something so that you're not injuring or hurting your knee on the ground. Aaron's going to stay in a nice upright position. He's going to bring both arms up overhead and you should feel this stretch right in this front hip section, okay? You do not want to lean back, all right? Do not lean back. If you need to increase the difficulty of the stretch, you can simply lean over your forward knee, okay? So what this is doing is once again, stretching out that hip flexor here and you can go up straight, or to increase the difficulty, you can start to bend over and you will feel more of a stretch in that hip flexor. Hold this for at least 30 seconds and start until you start to feel a nice release of that hip flexor. Make sure you do both sides. Let's take a look at it. For our next stretch, we're going to be using a full body stretch that emphasizes opening up your lats. Now this is important as your upper body is required during the vertical jump and the triple extension of the vertical jump because if you can open up your lats, which are these areas underneath your armpits here, if you can open up these up and increase the range of motion in your shoulders, you can reach much higher, okay? And if you can reach much higher, you can 
get closer to the rim or higher above the rim, all right? So for this stretch, we've put a pole on the ground and the simple purpose of the pole is to have something to put your toes on, okay? This is going to help activate and stretch out that Achilles tendon again. So if you don't have a pole, you can use anything. You just need to get your toes elevated, okay? So Aaron is going to start by putting his toes on the pole. He's going to use a pole or any type of structure right in front of him where he can grab onto, okay? And this is important as he needs to be able to pull and stretch out those lats of either side of his body. So Aaron is going to go into a deep squat, which is going to stretch out his Achilles tendon, and he's going to pull on the pole. You should feel this in your lats, okay? Right in the back, below your armpits, all right? He's going to sit down in that low squat position and just hold it, okay? This is a great full body stretch to work on increasing range of motion and mobility. So let's take a look at it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you use these three stretches to increase range of motion and mobility so that you can jump higher. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the link in the first line of the description below this video to go to our website and get your 100% free vertical jump technique workout. This is something that thousands of our athletes have gone through and have added instant inches onto their vertical jump literally overnight. I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I wanna thank you for your support. Leave a comment below, leave a thumbs up, and just let us know in the comments what you'd like to see in our next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are uploading brand new videos every single week that you do not want to miss. I'm Adam, this is Think Pro Basketball, and until next time, keep grinding.